my last helmet didn't have this. Or this. So, it finally arrived. Scorpion EXO AT950. The best $270 I've spent in the last few weeks anyway. Why? Well, it's got all the features that I love. Huge big visor. I can see for miles. If I don't want to see for miles, or don't want anybody to see me seeing for miles, I can hide in the dark. If I want everybody to see me, hey, how you doing? What a perfect helmet, I love it. And this is gonna keep the rain off my visor. So, all in all, I think this is gonna be a very good fit for me. The fit feels very, very comfortable. The helmet doesn't move. It's not the lightest helmet in the world, but it's not the heaviest heavier in the world. It's coming at just uh, over 3.6 pounds. The visor on this particular helmet uh, is Everclear one. However, it is interchangeable for an electrically heated visor that you can put on to actually blast some heat into your helmet for those cold winter days if you live in snowy conditions. So many options. You can also take the visor off and wear it with goggles. Hence the design here to keep your goggles in place. And you can take the peak off and put the covers on for using it on the street. It's still quite aerodynamic for riding on a street. All in all, I think I'm going to love it. <clears throat> So we're taking the helmet out for the first test today. Obviously riding, sorry, obviously wearing it without riding in the house feels very snug and all the rest of it. So let's put it to the test and see how it performs. Straight away the fit feels absolutely perfect. Beautifully cost, soft uh, interior microfiber, which is removable and washable, apparently. There's no vibrations. I was a little concerned about the uh, wind coming off the top of my windshield here and hitting the peak on my helmet. However, they've actually lined up pretty well and there doesn't seem to be any drag or downside to this whatsoever. I'm six foot two by the way and uh, without any handlebar risers on here. So, you know, it's, it's a good lineup. Noise wise, not so good. It's not an integral helmet. It's a modular helmet, don't forget. So we give up some of that precious sound protection to allow us to open up the full face and you definitely notice it going from an integral helmet to this type of helmet. But hey, it's something I'm willing to give up. Ventilation, up here on the top, one uh, large vent which allows a <coughs> flow of air into the top of the helmet. Down here on the chin, there's a two-part vent. First click, this is the demister for the windscreen. Uh, by the way, there's also a, a heated windscreen that you can get, uh, which plugs in and heats up the windscreen to keep it uh, warm and also to produce some heat into the helmet for those people that live in the cold climates. And the second click down, that opens up the airflow to come all the way through the helmet and allow a nice fresh flow. So like I said, the first ride out here today in this helmet performed very well. Um, it's very comfortable, the field of view, or sorry, the field of vision is absolutely perfect, both in front and peripheral, monocular vision, all of it, all around, absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, it's a good choice, I quite like this helmet, so I'm happy that I bought it. It's nice, I like it. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button.